folks, I'm excited because my first guest this evening is a two-time Academy Award-winning actor, director, and author you know from Dead Man Walking, Mystic River, and Milk. His new film is Flag Day. Dad, what do you do? What do you mean, what do I do? I mean, for a living, what do you do for a living? You know what I do for a living? I'm an entrepreneur. My skill is opportunities. Like what? For instance, right now I got a whole raft of businesses. I'm working a, a very broad portfolio. And when you work it that way, you're not dependent on one business to be your bread and butter. You know, yield goes down on one, pops up on another. And the good news is that I'm doing really great with that. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Sean Penn. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Good to see you too. I'm so glad you You don't do a lot of talk shows. No. Nope. No. But no. Nope. But, but I always glad always when you can show up. to be here for yours. Well, I'm I'm really happy to have you here. It's always very interesting to talk to you. It's never a conversation that I expect. Mm. You know. Let's see how that goes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's roll the bones. Uh, uh, you've actually made some headlines recently. I've got one right here uh, regarding uh, uh, well, COVID really. Here's here's here's. The thing I'm talking about. Sean Penn, line in sand, won't return to Watergate series Gaslit unless all cast and crew get mandatory COVID vaccinations. <laughs> this is the people. These are people who's all vaccinated. Yeah, sure. Every, every va we're vaccinated, you're vaccinated. So, this is a big thing. This is a big thing that basically all industries are dealing with, but especially a show business, because there's lots of people who like come together for short periods of time from disparate locations. How did that go over? Well, I think at the end of the day, the, the, the difficulty is with um, cowardly union leadership in many cases, because uh, the businesses themselves, uh, I, I think most people like your audience are rational. Well, what's the rationale for what is... Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to point out to the unions, he said cowardly, not me. I just want to know <laughs> what, is the, what is the rationale that's being given to not get it from the people who are resisting? There's, because there's a, f a fringe within each of these constituencies within the unions that, uh, that they are, I believe, leadership is afraid of. And it's the same fringe, some, uh, parallel fringe to the fringe that we see uh, throughout the country in the way that it's been, you know, when the, once the genie of rationality got out of the bottle from that void in leadership in the beginning of this thing, it's become an embedded identity politic kind of radical libertarianism that truly doesn't understand that the entire history of our country's independent spirit is because of its recognition of the importance of interdependence. And so... so So how, 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 how's it going? Are you going to back to the set? Well, the, it seems to be... So what, what good thing that did happen is that immediately after I left, and I should say I had a lot of support from my co-actors and producers on this, um, the, 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 the next day, 14 people got voluntarily vaccinated. Um, the bad news is that on a crew of 100 or something, that means that there were more than 14 people who had chosen not to, mm -hmm. uh, because it's not entirely vaccinated yet. And the way that they did it, of course, was the only kind of real protection was around the, the zone of people that would become in close contact with actors, which was its own kind of elitist charge. Right, they call it a zone A. Zone A. So my, so, so my understanding is that they negotiated something where the, um, those union members who have refused to get vaccinated, who do get tested, 
uh, will remain until they've shot out everything they can shoot out without me. And then at the end, they'll replace anybody that's not vaccinated with people who are vaccinated. Now, your organization, uh, CORE, mm -hmm. actually offered uh, vaccinations in Los Angeles, didn't you? It's the, yeah. it's the Community Organized release, Relief Effort. Correct. And you guys were giving out vaccinations in the Los Angeles area, weren't you? Yeah, we were um, uh, uh, running along with LA Fire Department, Dodger Stadium, and uh, all, all the significant uh, Los Angeles City sites. And then throughout the country, we were doing, starting with the testing and then into vaccination. Uh, and, uh, and we continued to. Uh, there are less of the big super sites now and much more uh, of the mobile outreach trying to get into, in particular, the more marginalized communities, but now really trying to, you know, target areas that seem more invested in misinformation. I, I, I think I understand that CORE was... <laughs> CORE was something that you, that you uh, helped create in 2010 after the Haiti earthquake that year. Correct. And because you went down there to help and created this. Um, obviously, there was another earthquake down there. Has, is, is CORE back down there? Do yeah. you know what's going on? Yeah, CORE never left. We've got, we've got a, a hundred full-time uh, Haitian staff down there and uh, they deployed that day uh, the, uh, uh, with medical and heavy equipment on the, the, the supporting the uh, search and rescue and rubble removal. Well, while, while a lot of people, especially in, in, in our business, um, speak a good game about, about caring for the, those who need help, I like that you, you know, put your time where your mouth is here and your effort. And I'm curious what average people can do to help. What can they do to help you? To do the, what we're doing, the heavy equipment, the, 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 the medical, the hygiene kit distribution, all of that is made more aggressive by funding. And it comes down to dollars. So. You make, it, 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 we are able to get a lot more dollars by a lot of people giving a little money, $5, $10, $15, whatever it is. And where would, be, where would people, send, where would people go? Then a one-stop shop. Of big well, what, what's the name of the website people go to? Uh, uh, CoralResponse.org. Okay. It would be there you go. great. There yeah. you go. Um, You often concern yourself with areas that are in crisis and you, you invest yourself in the needs of these people. How do you yourself, especially looking at the world today, fight off despondency yourself? Like a tonic. <laughs> like a tonic. Like a tonic. <laughs> That's also the recipe. That's also the recipe. So let's talk about your movie Flag Day, which is um, a movie that you direct and star in. And it's the first time you've directed yourself, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Now, I hear that actor Sean Penn can be a bit of a handful. <laughs> Do you enjoy working with him? Prick communist. <laughs> wow. Sure. Walk off the set. He'll just walk off the set if everyone isn't vaccinated. That's right. What a jerk. You know... <laughs> <laughs> But it's also, it's also you're, you're directing your daughter in this as well. And your, your son also has a part. Your daughter, Dylan, is the star of the movie. And um, what, what is it like to direct her? Like, does, the, is, does it all go very smoothly? Um, not all the time. <laughs> and keep in mind, whatever you answer, I'm going to ask her if she, you told the truth when she comes out here in a moment. But the, the thing about my daughter is she was always a truth machine. And the way that... Of course, she's a daughter. That's what daughters are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they keep peeling your onion, you know? <laughs> yes, they, Until they know bull when they hear it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, um, you know, she, she has to go through some pretty emotionally wrought scenes here. Mm -hmm. So, she, does, does Dad... Sean Penn, can he let director Sean Penn let the scene go on when he sees daughter Dylan crying? Or are you tempted to stop the scene and comfort her? It, there were times that I thought to call Child Protective Services on my side. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, it was. There were some times, because you're asking, you know, as you do with actors, people to go to difficult and painful places sometimes. And then to see her going through it and, 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 and to say, go deeper, go. <laughs> it was, it, it was, it, it, yeah, it was devastating sometimes, but she 
wanted to go there. And it was so beautiful in those scenes and the lighter thing to see the magic of her talent and, 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 and the kind of poetry of, of her emotional life come forward through those things. And uh, it, was also, it was also thrilling. This premiered in Cannes, correct? Yes. And she got great notices. She did. H how about Sean Penn? Would you want to work with him again? <laughs> <laughs> would, would you want to direct you again, I guess? Yes, I would not. <laughs> yeah. Well, you... You know, it's a family business for you. Uh, for the people who don't know, uh, your father, Leo, was an, a uh, an actor and, and a director, and your mother, Eileen Ryan, is an accomplished actress. And I'm just curious, you know, as a father, uh, looking at your children going into the business, I'm just curious what your parents thought of you going into the business. Were they worried about you? Did they encourage it? Were like, yeah, sure, water's fine, or no? It was very encouraged, or I should say, that it was a, a proud thing to be an actor the, in the family I grew up in. Then I became an actor, and then I did my first play, and then my parents came to it, and then my parents came backstage, and then my mother said, that was terrible. <laughs> and it was all like, a, you've got to go to university, and, and uh, to you have something to fall back on and, uh, you know, and like that. Maybe but, diesel, you know, diesel <laughs> mechanics or something yeah, like that. Yes, yeah. Always need mechanics. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How did that feel? Sean, take me through that. Go back to that feeling. Let's follow that. <laughs> dig, I'm asking you to dig deeper is what I'm asking. Yeah. I, you think I, about that. We'll go I, to I commercial. Think, you think about that. <laughs> okay. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, Dylan Penn will join us. And I'll ask her what it's like to be directed by Oscar winner Sean Penn.